Hi Flirt, it's Sorka. Hopefully you have a super awesome relaxing weekend in front of you. Um, complete with the Anxiety Hangout tonight. I'll link um, the Facebook event in the description so that you can be a part of that today at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. If you're on Pacific Time like me, that means it's at 4 o'clock. Um, we'd really love to see you there and after a potentially stressful week, it might be really nice. Um, today I wanted to talk about the new issue of Flirt that came out. Super, super awesome. You guys should check it out at www.flirtmag.com slash magazine. Um, the cover story is about living with bipolar disorder, which is something that I don't think we often get a very clear idea of, so that's really cool. But I specifically wanted to talk about the article that's about the evolution of marriage because that is something that is like kind of important to our generation right now because I don't know if you know, but like in my life, a lot of people are getting married and engaged and stuff like that. And so, um, you know, I think that one of the most important things about marriage is that everyone can define it for themselves how they want it to be, with one exception, that you do it out of love and with consent and you don't hinder anyone else's belief in their marriage. Um, no two loves are the same, so no two marriages are going to be the same. Should it be with a man and a woman, a woman and a woman, a man and a man, um, you know, people with different gender identities, um... I personally don't really care. As long as you love each other and there is consent, go for it. It's awesome. More power to you. Um, my definition of marriage for me is between a man and a woman because I do identify as a cisgender straight female. Um, I have no religious affiliation, so um, for me it's really like a civil thing. And mostly out of like convenience for me, marriage is because it's so that my partner can visit me in the hospital or um, to make life easier on our kids because um, they will have, you know, legally bound parents. To me, it's a legal thing because the thing is, is that before I sign that paper, I will have long committed myself to that person. You know, I don't need a piece of paper or the government to, like, confirm that or tell me that. But it is really convenient to have the option of a legal marriage um, because there are just so many tax and health insurance and so many legal benefits, which is why it was so important that the Supreme Court pass um, marriage equality because so many LGBT couples were not getting those rights and that was ridiculous. Um, so for me, it's a legal thing. Um, and just to make life easier because, yeah, like I said, I will have long committed myself to someone, um, you know, made that commitment with them and in my head before I ever sign a piece of paper. So, um, the ceremony is a formality to me and like, I'll probably do, I'll definitely do something. But to me, like a wedding ceremony will be a joining of our families and one big fat party to celebrate our love and the, um, you know, one time for all of our family to be together. So that's kind of what marriage means to me. However, that definition and interpretation is forever changing. So please post in the comments below what you think marriage is because um, my like definition and what it means to me will change. Um, and I think the best way to change is to hear how other people talk about it. Um, just please keep it all about love and no um, hateful or discriminative comments, please. Because that's all marriage is. It's just love. Love forever. Also, I'm going to link the fundraiser down below. Please consider donating. I donated $5 a month. And to me, that's like two coffees. And if I can give up two copies, coffees a month, maybe you can give up a dollar a month. Because if a hundred of you give up a dollar a month, 
That's a hundred dollars a month, and that makes a huge difference to make our magazine possible. So please consider it. I will link it and put it in all caps because it's surprisingly easy to give up a dollar a month and um, you know forego a candy bar or whatever. Um, and that's only twelve dollars a year. But if a bunch of you do it, it makes a huge difference, and we want this to be a community effort. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Have a great weekend. Hopefully we see you at the Anxiety Hangout. Download the new issue. Become a patron. Just be a wonderful flirt and live your life with love. Have a good weekend. Bye.